So there's different learning activities that the students can access, and obviously they're going to want to be able to do that in a game format to make it more fun. Uh, they can access these in a crash and smash game. They can access it in a game called Sophia's Closet. Uh, they can do a game called Bounce. Sophia's Closet, we actually found out in the pilot that we had football students who were actually doing that just because they thought it was kind of goofy to be putting makeup on the girl and blowing her hair and doing all that. But just fun games for both genders, all different ages, um, so that they can access that as another way to reward them. Now, in order to play the game, they actually have to get the content right. They have to answer the question correctly or else they don't get to play the game. And if they answer it correctly, they get to play the game for just a couple seconds there, 20 seconds or so, they, they feel like it's longer. And then they go back to the next question. And if they don't get it right, they actually have to work through the problem. And that's your teachable moment right there. They get to work through at their own face and figure out what they missed, where they made their mistake. It will step them through the solution and show them how to work that problem out. And it actually forces them to slow down. We have pauses that are built in so they can't just try to skip that step. And it's part of that motivation and that balance that we figured out which helps make sure that kids are actually going to learn the material um, so that they can get more playtime. It has to make the reward work.